What's up everybody, this is Danny, and I know you've seen a ton of Galaxy Note 5 unboxings and reviews even, but this one is a little bit special because I've been on a hunt for this color ever since the NYC launch event, and this is the Silver Titanium model. The release came and they sold every color but this color, so I had to search it out. And even though it has the same specs like the 8-core Exynos processor and 4GB of RAM, this one's a little bit special with dual SIM capabilities. I found this model at 28mobile.com. This is where I buy all of my specialty and unlock devices, so I'm going to leave a link below if you want to pick this up right now. So let's go ahead and crack into the box and the box looks exactly the same as the other models and there is the silver titanium right there. Definitely my favorite color out of all the colors that are out there right now. Let's go ahead and take it out of its protective sleeve and see what else comes in the box. You do get the SIM ejector tool right here in the front and then you also get some documentation here. This is the SMN9200. You get the S Pen tip remover and some S Pen tip replacements. And then you also get a micro USB to USB cord with fast charging capabilities. You will also get a charging brick and you get these new redesigned headphones that kind of look like the Apple EarPods. So there is the silver titanium Note 5 and man, it looks really, really good. And you have to see one of these in person. Yes, it's got that same glossy finish and it's got that same metal and glass construction that all of the other Note 5s do. And I really like the curves on the back of this. It really fits in your hand very nicely. The only downside is, as you've heard from many other people, is that it's pretty slippery and it gets really fingerprinty. Build quality wise though, this is one of the best built phones of this year for sure, hands down. I've been using the Note 5 for about a month now and a special review is coming, but the one that I use the most on my daily is this one right here you see on the left and I have a leather black dbrand skin on it and it does fix all of those problems and it looks absolutely incredible makes it look super classy so if you want to pick one of these up i will leave a link in the description section below but look at that precision when it comes to the cut so that's definitely my favorite so far on the note 5 when it comes to daily use this silver color though is really beautiful it's really hard to cover up but if you're not familiar with the note 5 let's go over the hardware real quick on the bottom, you get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, the micro USB port, a single speaker, and of course your S Pen. And that is much improved this year with a nice clicky feel and it fits flush into the body, which I really, really like. And that clicking motion is so addictive, but I do really like the S Pen this year, even though I'm not a huge user of it. On the left side, you get the volume rocker switches, which are extremely tactile and feel great just like the power button here on the right side is perfectly placed and it feels awesome. There are some omissions which we'll talk about, like the top here you will see no IR blaster which doesn't really make any sense and you will see a SIM tray there but this one is different because it has dual SIM capabilities and this has full support and all the bands for T-Mobile and AT&T LTE here in the United States if you're thinking about importing one. I was really hoping that one of these would double as a micro SD card, but does not. And of course, you don't have the removable battery this year. It is sealed up at 3000 milliamp hours. It depends on which market you're in, but having dual SIM can be very, very convenient, especially if you have a work phone and a regular phone line, then you can just have those combined in one with different profiles and it makes it much easier than carrying two phones. So let me show you how this works. You can see I have T-Mobile and AT&T running at the same time, but in this model, what you do is the AT&T one now is my primary SIM, as you can see that's kind of lit up, and what that does is the 4G LTE is activated on that, but the other SIM card is just having edge network so you can get phone calls and texts, but you can switch on the fly at any time, and I'm not seeing any kind of bog down or effect on battery life here. I'm still getting the exact same about five hours of screen on time and about 13 to 14 hours. Hours. The fingerprint scanner also works fantastic on here and it's the same as the Galaxy S6 and the 5.7 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display is pretty much just hands down the best display on the market, super crisp, really bright and awesome saturated and punchy colors. The performance on this model has been absolutely great as well. It's got the same Exynos 7420 octa-core processor with four gigabytes of RAM. And you may see a few stutters here and there like the regular model, but for the most part, the performance has been really smooth and I've had really no problems with it. 
the dual sim model comes with the exact same software it does have touch whiz laid on top of it even though they toned it down this year my favorite way to use it is the way i'm using it here with the material dark theme and a nova launcher so i will highly suggest that combo even though I'm not a huge S Pen user, I have to say there are some cool new functions this year. Like when you pop out the pen, you can just start writing on the screen right away. So if you need to take a quick memo, this is a really convenient way to do so. Air Command has also been improved this year and it does have new functions like scroll capture where you can take a long list of captures so you don't have to take a whole bunch of them and you can also add functions here and shortcuts to Air Command so that's pretty convenient as well. So if you like the S Pen, then you're really gonna like the Note 5. So before we go as a bonus, let's talk about this camera. This is a 16 megapixel sensor with optical image stabilization, and let's just say it's fantastic. The double click on the home button to launch the camera shortcut is carried over from the Galaxy S6, and that's super, super convenient, and you have very fast shutter speed on here, and the capture experience is really easy. There are a ton of different options here as well. If you go into the settings, you can enable 4K video, which I'll be showing off in the next No5 review. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And you do have live filters here on the side. So if that's your thing, you can see that right on the screen along with HDR auto, which you can see the HDR shot right on the screen before you take the picture, which is awesome. And you can enable video really easy from the toggle on the right hand side. Here's a super short sample of the 4K I just captured. It's some of the best video in the business right now. So let's see how it stacks up to the new iPhone 6S. Stay tuned for that comparison. There's also a nice pro mode on here if you want to get a little bit more technical with your shots and get the best shot possible. And of course, there is a new live broadcast feature here in the mode where you can live broadcast directly to YouTube right from your phone. So that's pretty neat. When it comes to the images, they are probably some of the best in the business here. Super sharp and also really impressive dynamic range for a mobile camera. And it does tend to overexpose a little bit sometimes, but even in macro mode, it's super sharp. And I think it's one of the best cameras out there on the market right now. Even when you take this camera inside, the pictures still hold up very well. The noise is pretty good with the noise reduction filter. And I haven't tested this thing fully in super low light conditions yet, but I will do that on my full No5 review. But I'm super impressed with this camera so far. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this overview and unboxing of the awesome silver titanium color in the dual SIM configuration. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Make sure you check out 28mobile.com if you want to pick one up. I'll leave the link in the description below, and I will see you guys in the next video.